Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. I made a video, a couple of videos last night when I got home. I, um, I had a really great day yesterday. Um, a high energetic day. Um, I spent it with my family and on my way back home, I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. And so in yesterday's video, um, I talked about uh, Saturn and Jupiter conjunction and then the flash of light. Um, and I'm like, duh, why didn't I even mention this? Because, of course, I knew. But, um, you know, sometimes things don't make a connection until there's complete silence. So on my way back home, I was like, uh, we have to go back home and uh, make a separate video. And um, so in my video yesterday, I mentioned that um, there was this uh, individual that turned around and saw this giant white orange glowing orb and I mean this orb was so close to this this human being here it was almost touching planet earth um, and that in itself is is expressing the magnitude of this event okay this is the central sun the light that is emanating during this winter solstice, during this time, and it's already being felt. We are already witnessing it, and I've been feeling this high energy, this huge transformation already for about a week for myself. Um, but here we are. Today is December the 20th. Depending on where you are, winter solstice takes place tonight, today, and tomorrow, um, December 21st. Some people are saying December 20th, so wherever you are at, um, go with, I say, December 21st in my location here. Um, many people are saying December 21st as well, so <laughs> again, there's a, we're still feeling the energies regardless of um, where we currently are. Now, this event is you know, uh, said to be experienced for three days um, until the Saturn and, and um, the Jupiter conjunction kind of dissipates and moves, moves aside. But again, the energies may linger um, for a good couple of weeks here as we move into um, Christmas as we into the new year as well. Um, and so in that image of that, again, the, the person who turned around witnessed this giant orb of light, so bright, so magnificent, so enormous. The person grabbed hold of their midsection their right arm kind of shot out and they buckled over by being hit by so much light. Um, so you can imagine if you ever got punched in the stomach, um, even playfully, you know, I'm not talking about violence here, <laughs> um, or keeled over in um, having a, a stomach ache, um, or in so much laughter that you hunch over. That's the type of hunching that this person did. But the legs, of course, came off of the ground. Almost like in those movies um, um, when someone is being blown away and their feet and arms are, you know, kind of sprawled out. But this individual was holding on to their midsection. And my sense is, is that Although we are being connected fully within 
our um, human form. Um, the solar plexus is our own personal sun, sun center powerhouse. Um, and I have a sense of this is where light is focusing on in this region. Of course, light must be able to um, come through our pillar, our central pillar of all of our chakras. Our seven main chakras has to be to be open to be able to be able to receive to better receive this light. Um, it doesn't mean that if you're closed off, you're not feeling this. It doesn't mean that if you're closed off, that you're not um, receiving. That's not what I am saying here. Um, I had in my my yesterday's video a lot of information and i believe i i became a little emotional throughout it because it resonated so much with me but upon waking up this morning and having more information um, last night um i'm holding off on placing that video until i do further research because now there's um conflicting um information as from what i made yesterday to what i am um, receiving today not not my my message personally but what i was actually reading um from the internet yesterday and today so this morning i tell you i am feeling really humbled really grateful blessed loved um i am definitely raising my vibration um as i am supposed to be um, because I am entering into higher frequency and seeing other things. Um, so last night I ended, or this morning, um, now nothing that I'm about to tell you is to frighten you. This is not what this is about. This event should not create fear within you. And those who are actually feeding you that, um, I'm really asking you to kind of wean yourself away from those individuals. Light, our upgrades, our life here should not be feared. There is nothing to fear. And if you still are carrying fear, doubt, and worry, all of those lower vibrational emotions, no matter who you are, no matter if you can receive and give messages to individuals to help guide them, you haven't let go of something. Um, and if you are an individual who is giving information and giving out fear into um, your public. Um, I think it's irresponsible. I think it's irresponsible. And I'm going to leave it at that. Um, that's not what we are here to do. We are here to serve a greater purpose that does not cater to any type of fear and um, our separation and fear separates you from true source. So I ended up seeing the sun, the central sun. Um, and it was so beautiful. And um, it ended up burst, sending out a big burst of, of fire. Um, that was still attached to the sun. You can see it oozing out. And I'm going to do my best to find a, an image that represents it. And you may already have seen it. And so, um, that fire came out a little bit and went back into the sun. That was like lava just going out, that boiling 
lava. Um, and then I ended up seeing um, the fireball that was shot towards the earth. And it was, of course, in a first big, huge ball um, full of lava. And then smoothed itself out into a thin line and went completely around the earth in a ball of fiery light. Then I saw lots of angels and lots of fairy-like um, angelic beings who were coming out of the central sun in the form of fire and flying down to earth. They are the fire. And that's why I said there's nothing to fear here. And in confirmation, I am getting intense physical um, chills. And every time for myself, that is a resonance that what I am speaking about is with clarity and truth. My body is confirming what I am speaking. And this is why I have remade this video today. Although yesterday I was emotional through it, um, when I came home and made that video last night, it resonated with me. Um, to some extent, but, um, and this is why Source decided to give me some more information to fill me in on a little bit more. Um, so again, this is what's going to happen. This, the light from the central sun is coming down. The representation is, is being shown and displayed in a huge ball of fire. Fire is an important um, element here that doesn't just integrate, it purifies, and it also represents love. The opposite of love, the opposite of the good positive element of love, is fear. Where are you sitting at within this this flame? Um, your solar plexus is that fiery center. Your heart, of course, is the emotion of love. If you are fear-based, you're coming from the solar plexus uh, and your lower chakras. If you are free in the frequency of love, the burning flame of love is within your heart. Um, so the light is coming here and it is going to transform. It is going to cradle in love our entire planet here. And change, transform, upgrade, purify, integrate on a massive level. There were thousands and thousands upon thousands of angels and fairy-like beings who are assisting us during this time. There is nothing to fear. This is beautiful. Um, I began yesterday drinking my sacred cocoa, which I had with my mother. It was very enjoyable. Sorry, I was about to cry there. <laughs> And I will do so again today. Um, we might have a day of rain today, so I may not be able to um, go outside and have a little bonfire, as I have wanted to do um, with my husband today. We will do our best. Um, I will do my best to ask and see what the weather is um, and see if my husband doesn't mind doing that. And, um, again, I will attempt to do that for tomorrow 
if at all possible, and if not, I will, I will have my sacred cocoa. And I am actually going to have my sacred cocoa up until the day of Christmas. And quite possibly, I might even linger it into the new year for myself. I haven't quite decided. Making this um, a day of ceremony, days of ceremony, of giving back, of being grateful. That's why I drink my sacred cocoa. And so, um, I ended up getting a, a message here. And this is for Brendan, if you are listening to this video. Thank you for emailing me. I hope you're not embarrassed that I have put your name here within this video. Um, wherever you are in your location, and this goes for anybody, uh, please check and see what time the winter solstice comes into play during your location. Um, it varies between location, um, but doesn't that really doesn't matter. So don't focus so much on the actual time frame um, as much as knowing that we are already there. Okay, we are already here. The energy is already here. And it's going to just increase and then eventually dissipate again. Um, how it how it's going to work for each individual is completely different. Um, some people have a lot of purification to do, and some people are ready for that um, intense integration and upgrade um, in that sense. So don't compare journeys. However, yours plays out. Enjoy it, love it, embrace it. Be grateful for it. If you become, you know, depleted, um, very tired, feel low, whatever it is, it is for a purpose in your journey. And if when you can find gratefulness for what you are experiencing, you not only can move aside that low sense of feeling, but you're helping it integrate properly, quicker and you're transforming it, transmuting it into the frequency of love. But when you sit there and you complain about how you're feeling, oh my gosh, this is hurting, I'm having a hard time, and I'm in a bad mood, whatever it is, and I know it's difficult, I know it can be difficult, but complaining is a negative energy, and what you give is what you receive. No matter what it is, it is the law. I am asking you to see that your low times are a true sign that you are being upgraded. Without having that experience, how do you ever know that you're receiving something else? And that's how I had to learn to love every part of my experience. Those intense migraines, those intense physical body aches and pains, the days where I was vomiting, the days I couldn't get myself up off of the floor. I had to change it and say, yes, thank you for this. Thank you for giving me a sign that I am doing something correctly. And I have been able to integrate properly with a smoother transition. And I know this is why I have progressed at a quicker rate um, than other individuals that I have heard about their story. Um, and so we know that the conjunction is... Um, peaking the 21st of the winter solstice and for about three days, give or take there. Um, as after three days, the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction begin to wean off even more so. Um, but the energy, again, I have been feeling it for about a week. Um, and I will probably feel it afterwards, or I may not because I felt it in advance. Um, 
but oftentimes when we are in this gateway um, or when things are in alignment and con in conjunction with each other there might be a time frame because really this this uh, energetic portal here took place and opened between 12-12, 12-21. That's the marker here. But you could have began to feel this already, even at the beginning of December, and you may still begin to, you may still experience these energies way into January. There is no right or wrong here. It's an each individual, <clears throat> excuse me, it's an individualized journey. Take it with grace. Um, it's important to not worry so much about the winds. How long? Because regardless if you had a time frame, if you are expecting a time frame, and then you expect, then you experience nothing. You're disappointed. Or if you know of a time frame and you experience outside of that time frame, you're, you're going to be like, well, why am I experiencing it so much? Um, so stop worrying about the details. Really enjoy what is taking place. It is really something beautiful, something beneficial for everyone. And... Um, the following question is, when is the next time that this is going to take place? We will not witness this again until um, the two planets, when they um, come closer again, um, until 2080, March of 2080. So um, many of us may not even be here at that time. Um, And some of us still may be. Um, and uh, for those of you who do, do not know, the last two times, or the last time that these two planets were um, together was in July 16th of 1623. They were at a distance of um, five arc minutes. They haven't been as close as they have been or will be here on the winter solstice in um, um, thousands of years. So that's the significance of what it is. And then the other events, the one from 2080 that's going to be approaching in 2080, um, may too not be as um, significant as this one. So just know that this is a, a very um, significant and a beautiful experience that we all can witness. This entire year has been full of strange and beautiful phenomena um, that we have been blessed to be a part of. And I am truly thankful to be a part of it myself. Enjoy your day. Take time for yourself. Love yourself and those around you. And do something special. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.